Hello and welcome to another episode of Game Central. We're now truly on the ninth episode in season eight in Bit Life, and we're playing as Maddie Jimenez. I was born a female in Charleston, United States. I was conceived on my parents' honeymoon. My birthday is July twenty seventh. I'm a Leo. My name is Maddie Jimenez. My mother is Sophie Jimenez, a banker, age thirty. My father is Keith Jimenez, a policy analyst, age fifty-four. I have an older sister named Sierra, age four. We have a family dog named Bobby. Uh, slap the spoon. Try to stay calm. Apologize. Admit that I broke it. I'm off to Woody Pitt Elementary School. Your classmate Andre wants to become your friend. Andre Glasscock. Your friend Andre tells you it's Mickey Mouse Day, which means the world's most famous mouse is over ninety years old. She remarks that Mickey's been through a lot over the years and has seen several artistic style changes through the decades. Then asks you which iteration of Mickey is your favorite: Steamboat Willie, Kingdom Hearts, Mickey's Christmas Carol, or Hey Mickey? Well, Mickey's Christmas Carol. Your visitor Bobby just tried eating a sandwich right out of your hand. Well, I'm gonna have to train him not to do it. While reading in your teacher Mrs. Mayfield's class, you look up and see your classmate Alia eating an apple that was sitting on the teacher's desk. Oh, brace face. Let's go and see that. Your classmate Riley wants to become your friend. Riley McConaughey. She wants to be my best friend. I'll do that. Your family Vizsla Bobby died at the age of fifteen. He perished after losing his fight against old age. Oh dear! Oh dear! Way to rub an F in my face. I am now starting at Adams High School. Dance club. Well, sucks that does. Kiss him with the tongue. Handicap parking. Your classmate Alia just mixed all of your art teacher Mrs. Love's paint together, leaving nothing but brown paint for the rest of the class to use. Yeah, she got expelled for doing that. You graduated from high school. Okay, university time. Why, fuck you very much. Come, Cole. Refuse to help. Now go to university. And now... Your friend just called after binge watching The Queen's Gambit, saying that it's the best mini series she's ever seen, and you absolutely must watch it. Okay, I'll watch it. I've seen it, and I love it. Nah, not my thing. What's a gambit? <laughs> While raging at a New Year's Eve party, your friend Andreas' fiance Camille. Looks up in your eye, looks deep in your eyes, saying how much 
He would love to finish the year off with a bang. I wouldn't do that to my friend. A dude you met while out jogging uh, has asked you on a date. Jim Banks. I'll reject him. You graduated from university with an undergraduate degree in physics. Education of higher degree. That should get me into pharmacy school. Yep. While sitting on a park bench, you encounter an escort turning tricks on the street. Ignore. And of course, I'm going to refuse to help in that situation. Your father passed away at the age of 81. He died while sleeping peacefully. I'll go, but let someone else arrange it, because no money. Junior pharmacist. They align with my qualifications. Oh, come on. Junior pharmacist. I'm committed to lifelong learning. I can't afford retreat slowly. I haven't yet begun to make any money, so I just chug some water. Deny the rumour. Nope. Your niece Sarah passed away at the age of 19. She was killed in a bar fight. Your best friend Riley bought a new apartment and is asking if you'll help her move in. Your big sister Sierra wants to take you to build a pillow fort. Right. Time to build, time to buy a car. USU, new SUV, uh. What? I thought I'd. I thought I'd pass the driving test. And while I'm at it, I need to buy myself a place to live. Let's see. Your mother passed away at the age of 72. She died from starvation after playing bit life for too many days without stopping to eat. Your co-worker Thalia wants to become your friend. Thalia Grace. Okay, she might only want it because I've got loads of money here. Your best friend Thalia is asking you uh, bad advice. Doctor. Doctor Gobble, what is she? What is it, a turkey? A junkie appears at your pharmacy, points a gun at you and tells you to give him all the hydrocodone you've got. Secretly call the cops. You've been coughing up crazy amounts of thick phlegm all day, every day. Okay. It's time. 
to see what Dr. Gobble has to say about this. Try to ignore him. Give good advice. Maddie Walker wants to be my friend. Someone hacked into your Instagram account and posted, I made $814,187 by pickpocketing a tourist. Apologise to my followers. Your friend, Riley, tells you she is looking for a competitive advantage at work and asks if you'll help her install a hidden camera in her boss's office over the weekend. While returning a book to the library, you encounter a stray ma. Your best friend Thalia has tickets to a Chris Brown concert and invites you to go with her. Some of your friends are eating boiled silkworms. Ugh. Your friend Riley cut out a cardboard silhouette of a cockroach and placed it on the inside of your lampshade. Your friend Riley just got a part-time security job at, Clit at Citibank and says she will let you in after closing to take whatever you want without getting busted. What? He <laughs> shouldn't take a security job to rob a bank. What? <laughs> your co-worker Carrie wants to become your friend. Carrie Fine Gold. <laughs> that sounds crazy. She is crazy. Your car has broken a, a catalytic converter. While you were relaxing on the couch, or Mark Connor is trying to climb on you to get attention. We'll train him not to do that. While driving to the store, you see young kids riding in the back of a truck. Try to ignore him. You have an opportunity to go back through, but to give back through volunteering. Uh huh. Your car has a broken headlight. Your Mark Connor died at the age of 13. He died of natural causes. You and your friend Maddie have an opportunity to have a threesome with a guy named Jackson Hunt. No, thank you. Your co worker asks if you want to get swole and offers you some. Anabolic steroids. While at a cricket match, you encounter a working girl trying to solicit you. Ignore her. What? Isn't there an option called call the police? Your supervisor, Ezekiel, approaches you and tells you that he needs you to start putting in nine more hours a week of unpaid overtime. Oh. Come on, that is too much work for a 69-year-old. Right. I'll retire before it gets too much. I'm not going to start doing MJ. Your friend Maddie is being investigated for suspected burglary and asking you to tell the authorities that she was with you on the night in question, even though she wasn't. I'm not getting involved. Your friend Andre passed away at the age of 75. She died while sleeping peacefully. Try and salvage a friendship.
While walking through the cemetery, a skater approaches you and offers you $4,500 to take a duffel bag to Poland. I can't do that, he's just going to have drugs in it. You suspect your fiancé Raymond are cheating on you. He accidentally called you another girl's name while you were talking. Hey, that's not yours. Your big sister Sierra passed away at the age of 84. She died of natural causes. At the age of 81. And no one to leave that to. And next episode.